how to make your intimate moments very very special with your robot partners now look as a human being we have some degree of freedoms right because we can stretch our legs accordingly uh, according to our partners uh, preference we could uh, stretch our legs we could lift our legs we could bend our legs we could uh, do many things because we have that freedom to do that before we proceed let me tell you one thing if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe it means a lot to me and if you have already subscribed lots of thanks for your support but for a robot partner which is uh, at present uh, to some extent at present still now human and robot partners still now looks like a dolls stiff dolls which uh, are not supposed to have that freedom so what will happen what will happen for these robot partners when such intimate moments when you need to uh, make that uh, or want your robot partner to bend le their legs in a certain degree what will happen okay so this is a very critical question in as long as intimacy with your lab robots is concerned and believe me uh, i have been asked several times several times uh, by many uh, of our viewers which i usually don't uh, put out in my comments uh, section because uh, so, uh, sometimes uh, the questions uh, uh, just uh, just uh, go out of the threshold so i need to uh, restrict them however the question is same what kind of movement we can expect on bed with our robot partners because they look stiff they how will they bend their legs and how this technology helps them to do that let's uh, clarify a little bit okay because you know uh, inside a human robot partner there is a structural frame which we we will call skeleton and skeleton of a human robot is a critical system very very critical system just like us it is designed to replicate human mobility and it is designed to why it is designed to replicate human mobility because companies who make them who build them they know that what kind of preferences what kind of user experience is expected this design prioritizes a wide range of motion through joints that mimic the human body's degree of freedom we call it dof in robotics it is called dof degree of freedom for example you can think of a ball and socket joints of shoulders i'm not going down at this moment let me make it a little bit simpler so think about shoulder joints okay or hinge joints for knees okay so because leg joints are more more complex okay and there are a lot of things uh, to know about it and i have already made a lot of videos on this on different aspects of leg joints anyway so let me just clarify a little bit and make it a little bit sim simple for you so this shoulder joints or knee joints they, they are ball and socket joints okay simple joints it enables complex movements but whatever however simple it is it enables complex movements and this endeavor deeply involves robotics uh, mechatronic mechatronics and artificial intelligence mechatronics is a, a new term absolutely new term so we'll come back to that point later usually it starts with hardware and from hardware perspective development focuses on lightweight high strength materials and advanced actuators for example servo motors that functions on muscles embedded sensors like encoders provide crucial feedback on joint angles and positions and this position uh, information of position is very important for any kind of intimate acts the software acts as a robot's nervous system translating high level commands into low level signals that control each motor in real time and finally everything is governed by sophisticated algorithms inverse kinematics is fundamental calculating the precise joint angles needed to position a limb concurrently dynamic balancing and gait generation algorithms process sensor data to maintain stability during motion 
the seamless integration of these three areas that means physical mechanics electronic control and intelligent computation hardware software and algorithms is essential for creating fluid functional human and movement on your bed so i hope this makes sense and it makes simple to understand how a robot partner lifts or bends or stretches its legs so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe